Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Oshina. I am happy to have you here. I am so excited to share this video. It's another recommendation video and I've been putting together some books that have two different tropes in them and some will have both and some will have one or the other but they felt similar enough that I wanted to combine them so the tropes are fake dating and marriage of convenience so you'll see what I mean with these books when I share about them how they have very similar vibes and I don't have a ton of recommendations in either one of these tropes so I thought combining them made sense so I'll write them all down below if you're interested and some of these I have reading vlogs for some of them have been in other recommendations videos so um, hopefully there's like a mix of new and old recommendations here for you and if you have any recommendations yourself that I don't mention here that have these tropes leave them in the comments because we want to know so I'll start with the ones that I own and these three have the fake dating trope so first of all the love script by Tony Shiloh this is a Christian fiction book oh I should have said this is a mix of Christian fiction and clean fiction so I'll let you know if there's any faith content in the book or if it's just like general clean fiction but all of these recommendations are clean as well should have said that before but yeah so for the love script this is almost kind of a, it's a fake dating but they try to pr date for real it's not like a pretend thing they like really try to date so that they're not lying but this is so cute because it follows a celebrity also so this could be also a celebrity trope which I'll also be making a video for in the future this guy he is like known as the sexiest man alive and he has a mother who gets her hair done and the girl is the hairdresser and she's over at their house doing the mom's hair and she never really sees the son so she knows he's famous but it's not a big deal but then one day he does come home while she's there and there's paparazzi around and they end up taking a picture with the two of them that makes it look like they're embracing and in terms of like PR and stuff they try to figure out a solution to kind of like spin the story so that he doesn't look bad so they end up like first of all thinking oh we should fake date and then he's like how about we just date for real like I'll get to know you and whatever so it's that kind of story and it was so unique in that sense and the way that Tony Shiloh weaves faith into her stories like in all of her books there's this like faith content that it almost is like the main focus like it's it's so good and yet there is a lot of like quality romance as well so highly recommend this and this is kind of the first like fake but also not fake dating recommendation okay another great recommendation this doesn't have like full fake dating in it but dear henry love edith by becca kinzer they do like pretend to be together sometimes in front of this girl's ex-boyfriend because he's like really possessive and annoying and he won't leave her alone and so she kind of gets henry to help her well actually henry just does it he like pretends to be her significant other and so that is really cute in this story but there's so much more to it but a lot of you guys have seen this book around i just think that the humor in this like becca kinzer's humor that she writes in her books is just unmatched it's really good and actually i might as well talk about love in tandem as well love in tandem also has a fake dating slash is it fake engaged i think it's just fake dating fake dating to almost fake engaged um, story in it. And that was very funny. And there's a lot of like mix matched, complicated family drama in this book that did make it very funny. It was kind of ridiculous, but like funny because it's really confusing. Okay, so there's two brothers and a girl. She was with one of the brothers. They broke up and they were gonna get married, but they broke up. This brother got together with this brother's ex-girlfriend, okay? And then this brother, goes with the girl so they just swap partners but like these two they are like pretending to do it because they run into each other and then people assume and whatever and so they just go along with it and that's the story it's very funny it was a little bit silly and like the thing about fake dating i guess is there's a slight touch to like they're being untruthful they are lying to their loved ones which isn't great you know but it's a story it's a book i usually just overlook it because i think it's a funny thing it usually doesn't last too long you know it, it's just personal preference whatever i i think for the most part it's funny so it works for me anyways this book is good love and tandem is good recommend okay and the last book that i own is the cheat sheet by sarah adams this has fake dating in it and this is my favorite sarah adams book because I love sports romance, I love fake dating, I love best friends to lovers, 
and this has all of that and it's written so good and I'm I was so into it I was so hooked by this I couldn't put it down and yeah they do fake date because the girl is a dancer the guy's a football player he's super famous and she ends up spilling her love for him when she's drunk in the bathroom and a reporter hears her and publishes it and so then again for PR the footballer is like we should fake date and she's like okay because I'm in love with you and he's like great so it's just so funny i i'm really into it so yeah and for anyone who might be curious i do plan to read the rule book which is the sequel companion to this book and i'm just waiting for it to come in the library and then i will give you guys my thoughts because this is clean oh yeah i'm sorry i haven't been saying wait actually did i say so this is christian fiction <laughs> love and tandem is christian fiction this is just general clean fiction it's like closed door fade to black I would consider this clean, but like other people might not. There is some language in here as well. The other ones were totally clean so far, but this one has language and closed door. Okay, and I'm planning to read the rule book whenever my library gets it to me. Okay, another fake dating that I read fairly recently is Rocky Road by Becky Wade. So this is interesting because it's a law enforcement fake dating. And this one was a little bit harder for me to get on board with because of the law enforcement aspect, because basically this FBI guy he is trying to bust a drug dealer and so he fake dates the drug dealer's cousin and that felt kind of silly to me that the FYI would do that but again because of the nature of fake dating that like it's kind of silly anyways like it was still a very fun romance I would recommend it it is technically the second book in a series but you could read them out of order they're just companion novels and you follow like these brothers and one of the brothers is in this book and he is working for the FBI and trying to bust this guy. So he does have a romance with the girl that he fake dates and it was cute. Um, it doesn't like top any of my recommendations, but I would still say it's worth it to put in this video. And this I would say is like, it was, it's Christian fiction. There is faith aspects into it and it's totally clean. There's no language. So that is awesome. Okay. One I haven't talked about in a while is All Made Up by Kara Isaac. So this is, you could call it fake dating. So it's also like reality show because this girl I forget how she gets onto the show but she she's on this like I think it's a cowboy show too which is you know there's there is a for it okay get it together there's a real life cowboy dating show set in my province and me and my coworkers joke about applying for it <laughs> so I just have to say that um and it's for literal like farmers it's called farming for love <laughs> it it, it's, it seems like a good time um I've never applied for it but if you see me on tv on a farm I might be on that show <laughs> no I'm just kidding um anyways so all made up is a real reality dating show and the guy is a farmer I'm pretty sure so, yeah I think so he has a ranch anyways this girl ends up on the show she knows him and they're actually exes so it is second chance romance as well and she's like what are you doing here and he's like what are you doing here neither one knew that they were going to be on the show and because I think it was the last minute that she got pulled to be on the show I think she's staff on the show and they need another member so they just throw her in and she ends up knowing him and that was very funny and what I really liked is he like still had feelings for her and he made that clear he did not lead on any of the other girls like he did what he had to do to get through the show but he said like I pick you like from the beginning which I really liked this is uh, I forget how, what the faith content is but it, it is clean fiction completely Kara Isaac writes like Christian clean fiction so no language clean and it was very entertaining um so the girl goes through the show with him because he's like I'm in contract like I can't not do the show but I need you to win the show so that I can pick you so it was just very entertaining and it didn't feel cheesy like it it was cheesy but like not in an annoying way okay so there you go recommend okay one of the main marriage of convenience recommendations I have is an uncommon courtship by Christiane Hunter almost forgot and this is technically book three in a companion series and I do recommend reading them in order just because it was so enjoyable but I also know people who read them completely out of order and it didn't hurt their enjoyment so 
read it however you want. If this one sounds interesting to you, I would recommend it. So you follow one of the brothers in a family and he ends up, because it's like Regency, he ends up in like a compromising position with a woman. And back then you had to like marry them or else they would be like disgraced in society. So he marries her and it's them getting to know each other and figuring out how to be married. And this is clean Christian fiction. And it was really funny because the guy character in particular, he's kind of known as like being a free spirit and he doesn't want to be tied down. He didn't really want to be married anytime soon. And then all of a sudden he is. So it was just so sweet and endearing to watch him settle down and fall in love with this girl. The girl's mother is very meddlesome. So there's that aspect to it. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this series. I love this series and it's just like a great Regency series that I personally loved, which really says something because I'm not a historical romance or fiction person, but this one really did it. So highly recommend. And then another Regency recommendation that I recently read is To Con a Gentleman by Sarah Adams. And this I gave five stars. I really liked this one. And this one has like f pure fake dating in it, which it was fun because it's Regency. And actually I think they're fake engaged even, or maybe, yeah, no, they're fake, whatever. <laughs> No, I think it's just fake dating. So this one had a lot of humor in it. Very funny because this girl is going to con this guy and he knows that she's trying to con him. So he tries to con her back and he ends up like tricking her into coming with him to his family home. And he also kind of like tricks his family into thinking that he's moved on from another woman that he has a lot of grief around. And so he wants her to be there with him. She doesn't know how to like get out of the situation and the way that they mess with each other was very funny it wasn't annoying or frustrating i found it all funny like even the way they were tricking the family because actually the family was very intelligent you could tell that they could tell what was going on so that made the story even better and i just had a great time reading this it was really good I loved the ending the way that it all kind of like came to a climax and then figured out like how it all settled down i just thought it was so well done was very impressed and this is just clean fiction no language they kiss like once and so that was awesome highly recommend and those are my recommendations for now but i really do enjoy reading fake dating marriage of convenience isn't as fun for me depending on the characters like if it's like a funny kind of situation i like that but if it gets like too serious and awkward, then I'm not as into it. So whatever. Fake dating though, very fun. And so I wanted to share these recommendations with you and I hope that you enjoyed. Again, I'll write them all down below and thank you for being here with me, you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.